Now there is question of what to do with the market house. Some city leaders want to remove the image from the seal and flag. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer is live digging deeper and talking to Mayor Mitch Colvin. Kayla. Yeah, so the mayor is trying to get the symbol removed from all city property, all city documents. In the meantime, the sheriff here saying that he thinks that it should be removed through the proper channels, which would involve a vote from city council, obviously not destroying property. But here's more on what the mayor's trying to do tonight. From an online petition with more than 100,000 signatures to faith leaders and community members showing up outside City Council's Monday night meeting, they all have the same message. The market house should be taken down. Do you think it will come down? It's hard to say. Um, you know, I don't know where, where we'll end with that discussion. Fayetteville Mayor Mitch Colvin is asking City Council to remove the market house symbol from things like trash bins and city paperwork. But before sharing his opinion on what should happen with the building, he wants to hear more feedback from the public. It's whatever the community comes up with. Do you think now's the time, though, that something is going to happen? We have to. And, and my job over the next few weeks is to force the conversation to take place. Uh, that is what we have missed before, that uh, it's easy for leadership to avoid talking about it so that you don't have to do anything about it. The Market House was built in the 1830s, and it's the only national historic landmark in the county. And then you have a, a population who believes in the historical significance of it. So somewhere in between there, I hope that we uh, find common ground. I think that having it as it is in the middle of our commerce, in the middle of our business district is not the appropriate use of it or location possibly. So because the Market House is a National Historic Landmark, I asked the mayor if they're going to need any special permission if they decide to make changes to this area. He says he doesn't think so because the city does own the property and therefore should be able to determine what happens with it in the future. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.